Hi everyone, it's Kumo back here. I made Shizuka from 100 Girlfriends who really really love you. This time I use shading to get more of an interesting look. Also, I tried Go Engine in this video. I hope you love this anime girl. You can watch full time looks on my second channel and real time video on my Patreon. So what I'm doing here is extruding vertices alongside of the face, then I move them by using proportional editing. I added a circle with 12 vertices and placed on the eye. I extrude the circle and connect in the middle. I made the nose, extruded and connected the eye. Then I add 16 vertices of the mouth and I connect it to the nose. I extrude the jawline and connect to the chin. Then I fill the cheek. I extrude the forehead and close to the gap. And we're done for the face. Now I made the back of the head and the neck. I added subdivision modifier and I check the angle. In front view, I press 4 and 6 to rotate the hat. I added circle for the eye and fill it. I did the UV unwrap first before I sculpt the shape. I made the eyelashes, eyebrows, and ears. I extrude two face, move it to the back, add a loop in the middle, select the face and insert it. Extrude it and scale a little bit, select three faces, extrude it out. The ear is done. To make things quick, I used the base from my other anime girl. I sculpted it to match the reference shape. Her hair is not complex. I duplicate the vertice and convert to the curve. I add the circle curve and reduce the resolution to use as geometry for the hair. Her hair is simple and straightforward, so I'll skip it, but you can watch full workflow on my second channel. For the cloth, I add circle on the waist and the arm and connect them. I strew the arm and shape it to the reference. To make folds, I use knife tools and cut diagonal. You can also select the vertices and bevel it to make fold. Same for the upper clothes, I duplicated and extruded. I select the loop from the clothes and extrude it to make the skirt.
I add subdivision modifier and increase the edge. Then I made the shoes, socks, and other extra things. And we're done with the modeling. Moving to the texturing process, I fill the base color for all the masks. Then I paint the eyes. I sculpt the eye a little too much, but it's okay. I like to add line art after filling the base color. I draw the gradient on the hair. I selected the inner face and fill the shadow. Then I draw the highlights. and the hair is done. Clothes are also not much to paint. I draw a shadow and line here and there. And we're done with the painting but it looks too simple so I decided to go for shading and I remember I haven't tried Go Engine since it has came out I haven't tried all the notes yet I used set depth to see eyelashes in front of the hair I add face rig, which I usually don't. It is annoying to wait paint, but it's worth it. For the expression, I add alpha texture for each expression. Then I control them using drivers. Finally, I made the book and her phone. For the text, I downloaded Japanese writing and painted that using stencil mode. So that's it. I hope you get something from this video. If you have anime characters you want me to make, let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching.